television history. The great English actor Sir Saul Iloquy rehearses for his American debut as Macbeth using Macbeth's original priceless jewel dagger. Is this the dagger which I see before me? Handled toward my hand? Spotlight the dagger, you imbeciles! Where's the spotlight? One spotlight coming up. I can't go on. I'm ill. I see spots in front of my eyes. I can't see anything but spots. The dagger! It's gone! No, it isn't. I have it. It's another incredible crime by the maddest scientist of them all, Hugo Agogo. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Batfink Split Level Cave. The hotline. Batfink here. Batfink? What will you say if I told you Hugo Agogo has just stolen Macbeth's jewel dagger using a spotlight that projects real spots? I'd say I'm on my way, Chief. My supersonic sonar radar can help me. His supersonic sonar radar won't help him. It looks like he spotted my radar. And he spotted us. But Frank, those spots, I can't see the road. I know, I'll close my eyes. It's a good thing the battle is equipped with a thermonuclear insulated plutonium crash barrier. It's also good it was a small tree. You wait here, Karate. If you see any more spots, call me. Patrick, I see spots, and they're hungry. Quick thinking, Karate. You keep him occupied while I settle Hugo a go-go. Nice kitty, down kitty, Polly want a cracker? You don't know it, Batfink, but you're in a hot spot. Nothing can penetrate my wings of steel. Well then, I'll put you in a tight spot. Now, Batfink, you're in a tough spot. The final, the ultimate trap. See the bombs and the balloons filled with deadly gas? Now you see them, now you don't. You're right. I can't see anything but spots. One spot in the room. Only one is the escape hatch which I shall use to get away. If you so much as touch any of the others, even with your pinky finger, it will electronically set off the bombs and release the gas. Oh, no! Did you know his name is Polly and he likes crackers? All right, you got me, but I don't care, because I've got Batfink. We interrupt for a spot announcement. Batfink has only five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Zero. Batfink. I disarmed the bomb. But how? You couldn't see the bombs for the spots. I always carry a can of spot remover. Spot remover? My wings are steel, but not stainless steel. And Batfink must always be spotless. See? It works! Hugo Agogo pushing a baby? Could that mad scientist be married? What do you think drove me mad? Meet my son, Gugu Agogo. Why, that's a mechanical baby. Shh, you'll give him a complex. The hotline. Batfink here. Batfink? 
Hugo Agogo has the mechanized grenade throwing baby. Karate, the battle act. <laughs> I must get Hugo a go-go and his mechanized baby. My supersonic sonar radar will help me. So, Batfink's looking for me. Let him come. Right into my trap. This will be child's play. The baby may be sleeping. The baby's not sleeping. I'm feeding it. It's time for his battery. Now that you've had your din din, you will go bye-bye and Batfink will die-die. He's cute. Your rattle cannot harm Batfink. His wings are like a shield of steel. Goo Goo wants to be friendly, Batfink. I think this may be a trick, Karate. No, the baby wants you to play with his blocks. Cement blocks. <laughs> Gave me a boo boo. I'll save you, Batfink. You're going from the cradle to the grave. When the ball breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will go Batfink, cradle and all. This looks like Batfink's goodbye lullaby. What can he possibly do without the use of his hands and legs and with his wings of steel locked tight? I can still use my supersonic sonar radar. And now it's my turn, Hugo a go go. Wait! You wouldn't hit a man with a baby in his arms. Well, that takes care of Hugo a go go. But who's going to take care of the baby? Karate will. I'm teaching it karate. Now you try it. Oh, look, Backfink. Baby just got his first tooth. 